Hey everyone, and welcome to this week's Lowdown. I hope everyone had a great Valentine's Day yesterday. Uh, the subject of this week is going to be hitting the ball into the wind and how to better hit the ball into the wind. And my subject matter is inspired by two thoughts. Uh, I read Butch Harmon's article on Golf Digest yesterday and really enjoyed it, talking about how to hit the ball into the wind. And secondly, also, when I was reading the article, I was thinking that, especially going forward in Kansas City in March and into April, you know, those days where the temperature is so nice we want to play, well, the reason the temperature is so nice is usually that south wind is blowing that nice air in, in here. So we're going to face a lot of days in the next month or two where you're going to get a, uh, a lot of wind. And certainly hitting the ball downwind, especially when you have a front pin location, is a skill itself. But we're going to uh, sit there and focus on hitting the ball simply into the wind. There's some things you can do uh, when you're hitting a shot into the wind that are going to yield you better results. So just think about it this way. There's, there's one obvious thing you want to do when you hit a ball into the wind. You, you want to keep the ball low. The lower the key, you keep it, the better your chances of hitting successful shots. So what causes a ball to go high? Well, we can launch it high or we can spin it high. There's two things that go into hitting a ball high. We can launch it or start the ball high up in the air, or we can spin a ball up in the air. The more spin you have on the ball, the more it wants to go high and go up in the air. So when, we hit, when we're trying to hit a golf ball into the wind, we're trying to accomplish two things. We're trying to hit, launch it low and keep the spin off of it. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So, you know, I did uh, an art, or a lowdown last year on a punch shot. So this is very similar to a punch shot in the sense that we want to start the golf ball low. So when I start a golf ball low, there's, there's a lot of things I do. First of all, I may move my ball slightly backward in my stance. So usually a six iron in my hand for me, maybe slightly forward to center. I may put it center, may put it slightly back. So I'm going to get set up with my weight forward, my hands very, very slightly forward. What I really want to feel is that this zipper right here is to the left of the golf ball. Typically when I get set up, maybe slightly behind the ball, now maybe an inch more forward in the standard position. What I have to be careful from when I get set up in this position is I don't want to hit steeply down on this. Hitting steeply down on is actually going to cause me to spin the golf ball a lot. So while I'm set up in this position, I want to feel like my swing goes fairly low around me, not picking the club straight up, but fairly low around me. And then as I return, I certainly want to have my hands in front so I can hit this golf ball solid and keep it low. At the same time, I don't want to hit severely down it, so I'm feeling the club come in flat, if that makes sense. So, Big thing is zipper up in front of the golf ball. I feel like my swing's a little flatter than normal. Normally my swing might be this. I'm trying to keep it a little lower around me. Hands and weight in front. Launch it low. Second and probably the bigger thing to me. When you spin a golf ball or put a lot of spin on the ball, the ball's going to go high. Okay, so how do we put a lot of spin on the golf ball? When people ask me, if, you know, if, they, if they've taken a lesson and they want to hit a ball and stop, we always talk about accelerating or swinging hard and swinging fast. The faster we swing, the faster we accelerate in the golf ball, the more spin we put on it. So we're just going to try to take some of that away. So I want to swing softly into the golf ball to try to take spin off it to try to keep the golf ball down. So typically, let's say I'm 150 yards away from the green and the wind's blowing, blowing hard. Well, typically my 150 club is my 7 iron. That's what I can hit about 146, 147 in the air, maybe get a little bit of roll out, roll out on it. Well, the logical thing would be, okay, I'm going to hit a 6 iron to, uh, to try to get there. But even in the 6 iron, I'm going to have to hit it hard to do that, to try to counteract that wind. So the best idea for me to, to hit a ball into the, into the wind and hit it low is to go down even further and grab a 5 iron and swing about 3 quarter speed. And so when I swing softly at three-quarter speed, I can hit the golf ball the same distance I can with my seven iron, okay, but I'm not going to spin it very much. Simply on a nice day, I don't want to do that because the ball's not going to stop, it's going to roll out. But on a windy day, if I'm hitting the wind, that ball's going to hit, hit the wind, it's going to stop, it's going to have some stopping power on it. So probably the biggest thing to hit a golf ball into the wind is taking a couple of three more golf clubs, swinging at three-quarter speed, so you're not putting a lot of spin on the golf ball, trying to stay in front of it, so you're launching it low, you can hit these shots low and into the wind and hit them fairly accurately. 
Okay, so it's going to look something like this. Again, weight forward, and swing a little flatter. But the big deal here is I'm going to take a, a couple extra golf clubs and swing about three quarter pace. It's going to help me keep the ball in line. It's going to help me really reduce the spin on the golf ball. And I can successfully go out there and, and hit the shots in the wind. Thank you, and we'll see you next week on the loading. Done.